Good afternoon, everybody. It's good to see you. Um, my prayer is going to be a little more of a reflection on some things that we pray about in our church on Sanctity of Life Sunday. In Orthodox Christian churches, we offer several petitions at our services on Sanctity of Life Sunday. We ask our Lord to grant to the people of this nation the will to do good, to flee evil, and to make us respectful of life. We ask our Lord to banish wickedness from our laws. We also ask that our Lord will kindle in our hearts the will to care for those in need, to show kindness to those suffering from poverty, and to aid the homeless and help the helpless. There's a depth to these prayers that make it clear that we need to hold all life sacred from the womb to the grave. Our concern for the unborn is so important to remember this day because it is the one reality that is easy to be in denial about because we don't see it. We don't see the pain of this tragedy the same way we did when people in World War II went through the Holocaust and the gas chambers in World War II. When people claim that the Holocaust never happened, the horrible image of these deaths continue to be published so that people will never forget. So whether, so whether people love us or hate us, we pray for the unborn and for those who have had abortions, that God's love be revealed in the midst of these tragedies where there is a loss of life and ensuing grief. But we also rejoice in the reality that lives are being saved by love. This year's theme tells us to pray for the unborn child in the womb. Let us remember to do acts of kindness and support those women who have decided to keep their children and not abort them. Let us reach out with compassion to those who have, may have had an abortion and help them heal from this act and to see that there's a pathway to reconciliation because love does save lives. But let us all live out this theme in other areas of our culture that need to benefit from this message. The one area that I'd like to speak to briefly and then move on to other people is um, I've always been troubled by the fact that we allow private citizens to purchase semi-automatic weapons or items that enable them to become automatic weapons, weapons only meant for war. How many more people need to be killed in schools, hotels, and churches? The huge loss of life due to gun violence in so many shapes and forms, this is a sanctity of life issue as well. In the same way, we show our concern for the unborn and their mothers, let us do, here, let us do so here. There's much more to say concerning this theme of love saving lives, and I'm sure the other speakers here will do a wonderful job of speaking to this issue. May the Lord's blessing be upon you all. Amen.